think it's like May 22nd. It is Wednesday. My daughter has her meetup group in about two hours. I have to leave to take her to that. And that's when I'm going to go over to Audi's and get some more pools. So the only thing I've had is a few sips of my coffee. And it's one o'clock. I am not hungry today, not thirsty today, um, nothing. So I'll finish the coffee, of course, I always do. But um, it is very bright, sunny, beautiful, crazy hot. And I'm hoping by the weekend, be done. Looks like trash city. But boy, the vision I had in my sleep, it's going to be more than good enough and not tacky looking when I'm done. Because in my sleep, I came up with the perfect design, which means I need to get six more pulls, not, not just four. And get along as I'm doing it. I'll show you the best I can filming myself. Um, I will show you the putting the holes in it, laying it out. Um, the hardest part will be filling it. Well, to me, the hardest part will probably be moving those bricks. Dino says he'll do it, but he's so sick. I don't want him doing anything, so we'll see. Um, I need to get some more garden states because I will be planting vegetables in here. It's just going to be a lot different. And I will be cutting those all the way up, all the tomatoes. I will be doing the normal pruning that people do. All right, let's look. Let's look. Day three, I think. Day three or four of the green beans. They're really popping. We'll see. And look, I have radishes. I saw these last night. Some radishes have come through. I don't remember if I showed y'all yesterday's video or not. So it might even be on today's video because my internet is so bad. I'm putting multiple days together because of that reason. Um, but I kind of come out here and inspect each morning. Make sure nothing's ate them to death. Um... I don't have like some kind of issue I need to take care of. We are going to have some bell peppers really soon. Um, I don't think these are the ones that gets like a big giant fat ones. I don't know. We have four already. Oh, my parents are outside. I can hear them. So we're going to go over there. At least I'm going to go over there. All right. After I go grab my coffee out of the house. But first, first. I do not re recommend using chicken wire for um, cucumbers. I recommend a cattle fence or this deer fence that's the big squares. The reason is I am having to come out here. Next year we're going to replace this. Having to come out here every day, twice a day, to make sure none of these... Oh, I just lost one. I won't touch it. None of these babies, see this one? None of them are growing through the fence. <sighs> Right, we don't want it to grow through the fence. That's how I lost a lot last year. So I just come out here multiple times a day and push it away because that's how I saved that one, the big giant one down there. These ones are great because these are growing over here. Oh, I kind of want to draw to stay in the bed, but it is what it is. They're huge. But it only takes a few hours for it to get really big, especially if we had a rain. So, let's come over here. This one's so big and square, it's perfectly fine. I don't have to fight this one. Oh, okay, you are definitely, I need to find something for this. Whoo, these are getting bigger and bigger. I've never grown squash before. Next year, I'm going to grow it differently. I'm going to cut all the bottom leaves off, make it into a stem to make sure I don't get the... A warm light thing that can get inside them. They're called squash blurs or something. I don't know. But we're going to have a lot of squash. Oh, why did that one turn ugly? Oh, there's two ugly ones. I think I'm going to pull that off. That does not look pretty. That is disgusting and rotten. Could be because of too much rain. I'm going to grow them on trellises next year. I'm going to make sure I do it correctly. I just never grew them before. Ooh, 
We got another one. I'm going to have to Google this, see what's wrong with them. Oh, I hope that doesn't mean it has the bug. I think I'll be watering the watermelons today. These will be going way out of the box, which I knew that one. I would, like I knew that would happen. But, um, yeah. Whoo, the sun is hot today. Let's go check on my one tomato that I'm not too sure about. This is the one I'm keeping an eye on. Oh, I got to get these watered and in the ground, too. Ooh, these definitely need to get some water in in the ground. Alright, gonna go grab my coffee and go see what my parents are doing. We haven't been mowing because the flowers help pollinate, but I think it's time to mow it. It is getting too thick. And my dad's our copperhead back on the other side of the property, even though we have tons of cats. So we don't want that. We don't want copperheads. All right, this was the very first tomato that started to grow, but it is still like totally green. All right, so this is my morning routine. I made me a coffee, wait for Dino. Well, watch Wendy and Harry. Um, Wait for Dino to wake up, go in there, do a tiny bit of makeup, basically mascara, bronzer, and lip liner. Is my lipstick. It's a lip liner, y'all. Um, it stays on forever. I always do lip liner. It's like L, LA Girl. Um, I think this one's called Blushing. It's my favorite. I wear it for years now. <laughs> but, um, and that's it. Oh, and my Seafil tinted sunscreen that it's a lotion sunscreen that's what i use during the summer during the winter i just use the normal um lotion because it puts me too too dark during the winter but my skin oh i gotta blend it in better but <sighs> yeah let me get my coffee and go see what my mom's doing okay one thing that's really weird to me is my face is a little poofy, especially because I have sinus infection that's going away finally. But it is not swelling as much as it normally does um, when I am off keto. But my stomach is, and that's probably from the stupid deli meat. I'm sure it's going to go down. And even though I do the low sodium or no salt added, um, I still have swelling issues from it. Now, when you all say, can I try spam or... Um, canned meats, right? So that's the biggest no-no for mast cell activation syndrome, but I'm thinking about trying the canned chicken and see what happens. Spam has always made me very sick to my stomach, and I gain weight horribly bad. Horrible. Really fast, even with the lower, like 25% lower sodium. I love spam, don't get me wrong, but my body does not. And I'm not going to be trying the Costco canned chicken. It'll be Sam's. The Costco has an ingredient that makes me gain tons of weight. It interferes. Um, so, I will be trying that soon. But tonight, I'm not eating until I get home because tonight we're going to try salad. And we're going to try different things in it. So, we're trying way more than just lettuce. Alright, I didn't get to try a salad. I got home at 6. <coughs> and um, Tractor Supply had their two-person swing on sale metal very nice it's the kind that don't set you too far up it don't set you too far back they're great quality my mom wanted to I wanted one so I took my dad's truck and went and picked them up <coughs> so I just ate a quick little sandwich like I've told y'all how I eat it all the time really fast went and got it I didn't get home until ate something um, it's 9 30 now took a shower um, scrub the bathroom, the shower, the toilets, all of that. Doing my second load of laundry. Um, I cleaned the kitchen this morning, like a deep clean. I made everything around. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
I'm thinking that my taste issues, um, maybe I fried my taste buds with all the heartburn. I don't know. All I know is, um, I hate coffee now. At least salted caramel flavoring coffee. It's disgusting. It started three days ago. I thought it would go away. It didn't. I only had one coffee today because this, my coffee. These are terrifyingly horrible. Thank goodness I'm down to my last salted coffee collagen because it's horrifyingly horrible to me right now. I have some vanilla to try, but um, right now I can't stand it at all. It's as horrible as the beef. I did go and buy me some more um, sirloin ends and I think a little, is that it? So that all I bought me. I think so. So I did go ahead and buy me that um, because I am going to grind it up and put it in something. We'll see. Um, to see if I can eat it that way. Um, maybe just cover it in cheese. I don't know. I don't know because my sandwich was horrifyingly horrible too. Yep. The Hawaiian roll no longer tastes like a Hawaiian roll today. And the meat no longer tastes like yummy deli meat. When I, it tastes just as bad. <sighs> when I lost my taste buds during COVID, um, I couldn't taste or smell anything for months. And then when the taste came back, especially for chicken, it tasted like roadkill. Like what you think a zombie would taste like horrifying. That's all I can say. Um, and then it took a long time for almost two years for the chicken to come back. The beef came back. Like everything came back. Okay. Um, over time and the last couple of months, it's all going away. Tasting identical to before, to before. I don't know what to eat. I'm already under eating y'all. I'm already under eating drastically. So I'm hoping a little ranch and some cheese in a salad with some lettuce will taste yummy to me. Because I can tell you right now the taste that's everything is tasting like right this minute. I mean everything, even a donut. I tried a donut. I took a bite of a donut. Nope. Mm -mm. Horrible. Now butter by itself tastes like butter though. I'm not, it still tastes like butter. Okay. Uh, whipped cream tastes like whipped cream. Chips taste like chips. Potato tastes like potato. Cheese tastes like cheese. Um, other than mo fresh mozzarella it tastes horrible to me. Um, so, so yeah. I either can eat something because I'm having a histamine reaction to it Oh, I can't eat it because it's going to make me throw up because the taste is so horrifyingly bad. Okay, I should be a size 5, okay, y'all? I should be a size 5 right now. I'm so upset. I've been torturing myself watching my old TikToks when I'm 168, but I'm 168 wearing a small, like, I am so tiny. My thighs and arms were so tiny and I thought I was fat. Y'all, I was, I was so blind, so blind. Um, I could eat anything keto. I wasn't having reactions to anything. I was fine. That's what I want. That's what I want. But my stress levels are extremely high. Like my mom called and I freaked out my, before I even answered, I was in the shower trying to get a peaceful shower. That did not happen because when the phone rang, my heart dropped thinking something was horribly wrong. I am having some traumatic post-stress issues um, with all the times they've called me in the last year and a half with horrifying things that we had to rush to the hospital for. And um, I'm scarred. Not going to lie. I don't mean to be. Everyone gets upset, tells me to calm down, gets mad at me. Um, but I can't help it. I can't control it. All right, I'm already susceptible to post-traumatic stress issues because I've had it since I was eight years old. A diagnosis was on medication for it. It didn't help um, for something totally different. That I still have flashbacks for and from, and I still have issues from. Um, and then I was diagnosed again with it for a totally different event that happened to me about 18 years ago, 19 years ago now. Um, 
So, and now, now every time the phone rings and it's my mom's number, I freak out. I couldn't enjoy my shower. I couldn't finish. I was covered in soap um, and got out to get the phone because I missed the call. And then I, I started to feel guilty in my head and my anxiety got ahead holding me saying, oh my God, what if something's terribly wrong? And it, my brain went to the dark side. So I had to go call him and I got in the shower just to wash off because I was so stressed out at that time by then that a peaceful shower was not possible not possible and everyone gets mad at me for reacting this way everyone does but I can't help it I'm not doing it on purpose I literally my nervous system is just fried like literally fried um, I can't help how I'm reacting. And when I eat carbs, it makes it worse. Okay. I am so much better on carnivore. I'm not going to lie. My reactions, my stress levels, my anxiety is so much lower. But when I am eating bad food, I'm sorry, deli meat, processed meat is bad food. I'm going to sit here and say it all day long. It might taste on me, but it is bad for us. It is so processed. I don't care what it says. I don't care if it says low sodium or minimum process or uncured or blah, blah, blah. It is still not real. It has been processed. Okay. I don't think it's healthy for me, but it's all I can stomach right now. I'm praying I can stomach salads and I will put it in my salads um, until I can switch over to something else. I'm slowly just going to start trying stuff and see what happens. I'm just terrified of having a flare up because I don't want to be on the toilet with a bucket for hours shaking, my blood pressure falling to the ground, my heart rate going sky high, covered in sweat and just shaking. And I mean like someone's got a water hose on me, sweat. I am so desperately ill. I was told that my body is going in shock during that time and that's why it is reacting the way it is. Um... And that's why I'm scared of food because I don't want to go through that. I hate it. I hate when I have episodes. Um, but yeah, I need to find a way to at least be keto. Um, because my reactions while eating deli meats, while eating breads is so much worse. I'm, um, I think it messes with my hormones because I am so emotionally over the top. So much y'all. Try not to cry now because I'm emotionally over the top. It's ridiculous. I'm also in tons and tons of pain. Okay, my fibromyalgia is so much worse. My face hurts. The bones in my face just kill me. Um, like, I can't explain how much pain I'm in when I eat wheat. And I can't just eat the deli meat because I have an episode. Um... I was told because I'm producing too much, um, stomach acid, there we go, which is making it come up and because it's producing so much and it doesn't have a lot to digest with just deli meat and cheese that it overreacts and then there's too much and then it's coming out my nose, which happened earlier today. Um, so that's a problem too. Yeah, but I am determined to fix this. I am never giving up because I want to be the person I was watching on TikTok. I know that was five years ago. I know I was younger. Well, not five, four, three years ago. I know I was younger. I know my life was totally different. But that is my goal. My goal is to be her again. Calm, happy, hopeful, joyful. Okay. That, that is my goal. And that's one reason I do the garden, to help me find some inner peace. But anyways, it is 9.40 and I'm actually really tired. So I'm going to crawl up in this bed and watch some TikTok gardening because it's my inner peace right now. Um, I watch carnivore and keto during the morning uh, stuff. And then at night, I fall asleep watching some garden stuff. Um... I think tomorrow's a free day. Me and I just work on the yard and stuff. I've done the housework all week. Almost every single room is completely spotless now. So I don't need to worry about the house. It's all caught up. So now I could get back to the outside stuff. Um, hopefully we'll get my mom's. Well, the whole goal is we have a month to finish everything on my side. 
the fence and everything. And my mom's side, because my sister and them will be here for just a couple of days, but we want it all done just to be able to enjoy it and show it off because she won't be back for a long time. So we have a lot going on in a month. And then Friday I'm taking my daughter and her friend to a um, Fourth Friday festival thing that they have once a month. It's Nerd Fest. So everyone gets dressed up like superheroes or whatever, comic people, whatever you want to dress up as. Um, I want to lose weight so I can feel comfortable dressing up because I miss doing that kind of stuff, but I don't feel comfortable in this skin. I don't want to draw attention to myself at all. I know when I was 434 pounds, I would have loved to be 220. And yep, I'm 220. The scale is not really budging, um, which is great because I was really scared because I normally put on weight quickly eating deli meat and bread and I haven't. Um, so I would have been happy at this weight back then, but I know what it was like to be 160s. Okay. The 150s, mm, I didn't feel so great. In the 160s, I'm glowing in those videos and my skin looks great and I am healthy. Um, so also, also during that time, mmm, I really wasn't doing very many skinny syrups, I don't think. Or was I doing a lot? I might have been, I'm going to have to go watch my videos. I might have been doing a lot of the ice at night, so I was very hydrated. So I would make a bunch of ice and put the skinny syrup in it, but I really didn't put it in my coffee. It was more like in my ice. And I think I did a lot of ice back then, like every night, shaved ice. Um, so I was very hydrated, but I can't stand water anymore. Maybe I need to start doing the ice again and see if that helps. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to shut up now. All right, it is the 23rd. It's probably 90 degrees. I think it's around 2. I don't wake up until 12. I don't feel good at all. I had horrible <clears throat> heartburn. Um, not in my stomach, in my throat all night long. Um, my lungs feel like sandpaper because of it. And it sucks. It sucks, y'all. Sucks. And no doctor can uh, seem to fix it because they said it's my... MCAS, which means it's a histamine issue, and and I can't seem to get histamines under control. So, I'm just doing my daily inspection of the garden. Seeing what's going on. Ooh. Hey, they're higher than yesterday. They're looking good. Radishes are really starting to pop. Still nothing on the carrot side, but I couldn't get carrots to pop last year at all. My marigolds I planted, the seeds are not growing. This one did, but the ones I planted in here, maybe something dug them up. They're not growing at all. going to do the layout around the circle today to see how I want it. Everything's looking pretty. Okay, going in to inspect. Because I got to do my cucumber inspection on this fence. Oh, I got to get a weed eater going today or something. All right, see, this is what we got to take care of. Make sure that don't happen. And this one's already trying. Push you back. Oh, look at that one. I've never grown these kind of cucumbers before, so it's going to be interesting. Make sure I don't see any from this side I need to push back. These are good. I don't have to watch these. Way too many in one spot. 
Oh yeah, I have to stop and go inside. I'm like drenched in sweat. This is where I've gotten so far. <sighs> I need two more of the rubber mats, which I already knew I was going to need two more. Maybe three to be safe. Um, so yeah, this is kind of the design. Um, I realized, well, Gino pointed out after I was halfway done, um, that it was in the center because he took all my blue stuff out. He wouldn't let me work with the blue stuff in, even though I was the one doing it. I hate when people do that. I put it in there so I would know what I was doing. He refused to let me do it that way. He took them all out. And then when he went inside, I put them back. And now I see that it wasn't in the center. And I don't have the energy to try to move it over some. So it is what it is. We're just going with it. One side will just have more than the other. And I'm probably going to put another pool on this side. We'll see. <sighs> I'm so dead. Okay, so I made me an iced coffee. It's pretty bitter, but I knew it would be because the um, it calls for way more ice. But because it is my water, it is filtered, but I still have issues without it being pH balanced. So... I didn't want to put tons of ice, which makes it more strong and more bitter. Um, and I also put some heavy cream in there, about an ounce, and I don't do heavy cream. I usually do butter. So we'll see what happens. And I also used the Skinny Girl Syrup. Um, I had a little bit of um, butter toffee left, and I had a little brown sugar, so I used one squirt of each one of those. Um, and it tastes way better. I think it's the caramel. My tongue isn't liking the caramel. And... Um, I might have to re-switch my toothpaste. So I ran out of the special toothpaste I use about three, four months ago. And all of a sudden I was getting really, really sick whenever all the time and the taste of all the foods changed because I can't just use normal mints. I have to use like a cinnamon. Um, but I'm wondering if I'm having a reaction to the cinnamon um, because cinnamon itself is a high histamine. Um, I'm sure it's just a flavor. I didn't read if it actually has cinnamon in it, but I went back. This is why I take notes, y'all. This is why no one can say, oh, you're eating more than you are, or you're doing this or that. No, this girl is anal. I have hyper focus ADHD. So when I like something, it becomes a research project, a science project to me, right? So that's how keto was, carnivore. That is how my weight loss and my health journey is every day of my life for the last, since 2016. Um, it is how I am with the garden right now. Um, when I enjoy something, I am hyper-focused. I've always been hyper-focused my whole life, even as a child, on anything medical um, because I enjoy it. I like knowing things. Like, one of my TikTok things I love to do is watch the doctors give symptoms and say, can you diagnose this? And so far, I've never been wrong. And sometimes, I'm the only one who can guess, um, which I love. It's fun. It is so much fun to me. But I notice in my journal, when I had to switch toothpaste, because the person is a family member who sells it, it's kind of like a pyramid thing or whatever, like it's one of those things, you know, but it's actually really good. It doesn't have the fluoride in it. It's very basic. I didn't have reactions to it and it made my teeth whiter and less sensitive too. Um, but she had to have surgery and she's been recovering. So there was no way to order it. And it goes through my mom and my mom don't even know the company or anything. Um, so it's not like I can order it anywhere else. And it is very expensive. My mom gifts it to me because it's so expensive. Um, but I, because last night it was really bothering me how my taste is so horrifying now. Um, how I can't stand stuff and how I have this horrible taste in my mouth all the time. And I notice the more I brush my teeth, because I'm in there brushing my teeth all day long, thinking that it is my freaking acid. So I'm in there scrubbing my tongue and brushing my mouth. And this morning, I was like, I didn't taste it before I brushed my teeth this morning. And after... I have the horrifying taste again. So then I went and put the toothpaste on my tongue. And I'm like, is it the toothpaste causing it? Um, because then I went and drank my coffee. 
like yesterday and it tastes like crap. Well, it has been hours, hours, and I had a little sandwich since then, which tasted fine because it was hours later. I've had a lot of water in between and this, other than this being bitter because I don't have sweet and low in it, I don't have as much sugar, like syrups as I normally would, you know, the skinny girl syrups, um, cause I normally do three to four pumps and this only has two. Um, it also does not have the collagen in it and it doesn't have butter. Instead it has, um, heavy cream. So it's going to be more bitter to my taste, but it doesn't have that awful taste that I've been tasting. So I'm wondering if it's my freaking Too Faced. And yes, I've tried to find brands in stores, online, and they all have one or two ingredients I'm allergic to. Um, and I'm not allergic to the Colgate one, even though it does have fluoride, I think, and it does make me nauseous. But I don't have, like, when I use certain ones, my whole gums swell up. My lips swell up. Um, and fluoride just makes me extremely nauseous. I try not to swallow it, but it's really hard not to swallow any toothpaste. I swear. Maybe I use too much. Maybe I put too much toothpaste on my brush. Maybe I should look up how much you should be using. I could be using a crazy amount. Because I know I use way more shampoo and conditioner than they say you're supposed to. So, maybe I'm doing that. But, anyways, I need to find a different toothpaste. Because, what if it's just the stupid toothpaste? And then I'll start liking beef again. Yeah, I'm thinking of anything. Okay, I'm thinking completely out of the box because I want this problem solved. I want this problem solved so bad because I really was loving steak and I bought some and I'm trying to decide, do I make it like a mock spaghetti with no spaghetti noodles like I always did, a keto spaghetti, or do I make it a burger bowl and go ahead and let myself have a little of mustard and mayonnaise in it? I don't like it without it. <laughs> and just beef and cheese doesn't work for me. I always have issues so it would need to be something else with it like um like I was thinking burger bowl with some lettuce and stuff I don't know I don't know I'm gonna have to try it soon though because tomorrow I'm gonna be busy this is why I don't like buying food either because I don't have time to go get it I'm like I'm so busy I would be out there working right now but I'm dying so instead I came in here and put two videos together however the internet is only a one for uploads so I can't upload today um that is one of the issues I am filming at least 30 minutes 20 minutes 25 minutes a day that I could put in a video and put up every day but my internet is so horrible that I can't do that. I can't have my computer in the summertime because it's 95 outside running for 12 to 13 hours because it just heats the room up like insane. Um, and I don't want to overheat my computer. So that's not an option. So they're up when they're up. Maybe I'll start doing lives because even though my upload speed's crappy, I can get lives on my other internet. The other internet has no upload speed. Like it's really low. But it lets me do the lives. I've done it like a few minutes ones outside in the yard and it went just fine which I can't do in the yard again because if I'm doing a real life I need to see your comments so and I need to fix my sleep my sleep is so bad y'all so bad boy you just watching mommy mommy forgot she made cold, cold coffee and just drank it and was like oh that's yeah but at least that weird taste I was talking about has disappeared um, it's really hard not to put sweet and low in here, but since I finally got off of sweet and low, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I know you're yelling. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to get back on sweet and low. It took me my whole life to get off sweet and low, and I've been off since, like, the second or third week of January, and I've been on it since I was, like, one. Like, I had sweet and low as a child. We didn't do sweet tea in the South where I was. Um... Some of my family did sweet tea, but the rest of us, we all did sweet and low. So I was used to sweet and low since I was a tiny little girl. Every day of my life. Every day of my life until this year. And sometimes it takes a very long time to get nasty chemicals out of your body. Like more than six, seven months. So yeah. I'm going to shut up now. Yep. Okay, so I've got holes in some of these already. Lots of holes because I had a small bit I was working with. And then Dina bought me out a huge one I might stick a few more holes in it's not gonna hurt it having a lot of holes it'll hurt it not having holes um, I did my pots as well three is more than enough for these kind 
now to go get metal shear cutters. Um, they cut metal, which will cut this perfectly because I'm going to be cutting one of these in half. Maybe I'll take this over there and cut it over there. But, uh, yeah, working on my plans, working on my plans because as soon as he's done with my wheelbarrow this weekend, I can start filling it. It will not look tacky like this when I am done. Yeah, I'm dying. It is so hot today. But, but, remember, it's going to be beautiful once the dirt is covering it all. Okay, so you will see. See when it's done in this video. Well, not in this video, probably. Um, but I will put them all together in the next video that I make showing them. Um, some of the... I'll show you the stuff inside. I still got to move. Okay. Remember, it's going to be covered in dirt. Meaning the dirt will be on the inside. And every crack on the outside will be covered in dirt as well. And plants. These aren't staying. I just used them for right now. These ones at the end, the top layer is going away. I just need to put them somewhere and couldn't throw them. Um, but everything will be covered in dirt. So it's going to look so much better than it looks right now. And I still got to get some more rubber mats. <sighs> but I have a vision. Dino can't see my vision, but I see it. All right, this is 100% not done, but you can see the work we've been doing. You can see the old porch is back there. Um, it was two porches attached to each other. This one was collapsed because it had been in the weather for years, so we rebuilt it. All of it is all brand new. We're gonna screen it all in, unscreen that one, and tie it together. But this is what we've been doing so much. Okay. I always say okay, all right, or something like that. It's just me. It's my ADHD, I was told. But anyways, just got out of the shower, went to mom's earlier, and she wanted to clean off the pool cover so we could get it off. First of all, all that bending killed my left sciatic nerve because I have an impingement in that leg because my hip isn't a circle in there no more. It's jagged and the actual um, bone to the leg is full of tons of bone spurs. So that's not round either anymore. It's like one of those spiky circle kill people thingies, whatever those things are called, um, that you see in old movie, like back in the, I can't even think right. Like Games of Thrones era. There we go. Um, so it doesn't rotate properly and it hurts extremely bad at times and the bending really hurt the sciatic part of it and already made the impingement worse. But then we have a 36 inch round pool and there are a million leaves on it all over that had to come off. So I took a long giant stick thingy with a basket and spent three hours going around the pool and they were soaking wet leaves, pulling them off. I can't bend over, I can't sit on the toilet by myself. Do you know how to put my pants on? I am having to stand very still. I'm hoping my IV profen kicks in soon because it is very swollen. Um, because I have really irritated the hip and sciatic nerves so bad I could scream like, I can't get on and off a toilet. I can't sit, I can stand here. I can stand here in this funky position because you can't even tell the funky position. I'm kind of swaying this way and I'm fine and I don't feel the pain. The moment I lay down, I almost scream. The moment I walk up, like try to sit, I scream. If, and it also feels like because the sciatic nerve is hurting so bad, it feels like my stupid buttocks muscle is cramped and won't uncramp. Um, it could be way worse. It's not my right side. So it is extremely painful, but my right side, when it happens, it lasts for months on end and I need physical therapy and I can't walk to a bathroom, I can't drive, I can't do anything. And thank God that has not happened since I was before keto, when I was so big. Um, I used to have to crawl to the bathroom. It was horrifying. Um, but that was like 2015, I think was my last episode of that one. But it is very, very painful, and I promise to take my daughter to a thing tomorrow. But 
Yeah. And my arms hurt. Arms hurt so bad. Pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling um, all those leaves off in the basket. Soaking wet. I did it all by myself. I was so proud of myself. Everyone's proud because we've never gotten them all off. It's ended up in the pool. Barely any ended up in the pool. And we even got the, the thing off Saturday. I'll take a sample in. We'll go buy a new shark for the pool because that old one is old and broke last year. And figure out what chemicals we need to get. And we'll have a pool ready. Last year it was July before it was ready. It's ready this year. It's going to be ready. I'm so excited that we're going to have it ready finally. Um... <coughs> In June like it'll be ready should be ready for more all day um so I've worked my butt off today and I'm gonna be work even if I'm in pain uh, this weekend we'll be working my butt off because in the next two weeks we have a huge list of things to get done my fence my garden boxes we're building to that circle garden planting and going to get more plants going and finishing my mom's porch completely I have to do some shopping we have a lot to get done because my sister and them will be here at the end of June and we want everything done a week at least a week or so before they come so I won't be exhausted no one will be exhausted we'll be a little rested even though they're only here for a few days um, and I would like to show them I'd like to show us my last stuff that I've done. Um, but yeah, my hair's growing fast, y'all. If I straighten it right now, it falls down way longer. Way longer. So I had that little sandwich earlier this morning, the one I've always been doing, the two little um, Hawaiian rolls, which is 30 carbs, and my low sodium and no salt turkey and ham from Boar's Head. Um, I don't use mayonnaise. I didn't put cheese on it. I didn't have the turkey. Just ham. I just remember that. I just did ham. Um, so far I'm not hungry at all. I don't get hungry anymore. I get full off of one sandwich for the whole day and then I'm done for the day and don't want anything else. Um, so if I happen to try a salad or something later, I will let y'all know. Um, I might make me another iced coffee that was really yummy and I had no effects with the heavy cream. I usually don't. I think the reason... What, honey? Okay. Oh, did it scare little girl? She's terrified. I'll get her. Um, Dino's clean. I hurt his computer and it scared the cat. Bear's already hiding, so now little girl's scared. <laughs> but, um, what was I saying? I got very distracted. I guess I was trying to have no clue. Come on, little girl. You want to go with mommy? You would not like that noise. No. No, you don't. I know.